Well, hello. Today I wanted to talk about some durability issues I've experienced with the Mariposa 60 and why I'm having second thoughts about bringing this bag with me wherever I go. These issues are the buckles and the fabric on the bottom of the bag. A little background, I purchased the Mariposa 60 a little bit over a year ago, intending to use it for my through hike of the long trail. I have since brought it on all of the backpacking trips that I have done, as well as taken it traveling on the plane and some non-backpacking overnight trips. The versatility of the bag is a huge plus for me, but I think that I will avoid bringing it on the plane in the future, and here's why. Up until recently, I've been able to carry on my Mariposa and stow it myself in the overhead bins. I was even able to fit it in tighter spaces on smaller regional craft. However, on a recent return trip, I was asked to valet check the bag because the person at the gate didn't think that it would fit in the overhead bin. When I picked up the bag, I saw the baggage person slam it very roughly on the ground. Then I later noticed that the buckle on the stirrup strap had broken and I could no longer use the stirrup strap. While I think that the baggage people were really rough with the bag, it brought up some concerns about the durability of the pack. Especially when I read the reviews for the replacement buckles on Gossamer Gear's website from all of the people who have had buckles break. And actually, in the warranty section on Gossamer Gear's website, they have a disclaimer that says Gossamer Gear does not warranty products against materials or fabric failure due to durability issues. Basically, when you buy these products, you're accepting that they're meant to be lightweight and not durable. And if you want something fixed or replaced, you're responsible for it. I can live with that, but I think I'm going to avoid flying with my Mariposa in the future. The second durability issue I've noticed is the fabric on the bottom of the bag. When I look inside the bag and hold it in the light, there are little holes on the bottom. Then I realized that the bottom isn't actually reinforced. It's sort of the same material as the rest of the bag. When I think about all the times that I've dragged my Mariposa on the ground or it's sat on rocks, I can see why that would have gotten worn out over time. And I'm sure that this is an issue with a lot of different ultralight bags. What I am going to do before bringing it on my through hike is reinforce those holes with some gear tape. Another little issue is the elastic on the mesh pocket becoming separated from the pack on the bottom. I think I can fix this part with my sewing machine though. So those are the main durability issues that I've noticed with the Mariposa 60 at least in the year or so that I've had it. I am still happy with the backpack and I'll continue using it for all my backpacking trips as well as my through hike in the summer, but I will be more mindful of these issues before bringing it on trips requiring air travel. I will be doing more videos about updates for my Mariposa. A lot of people have asked questions about how to attach the shoulder strap pocket and the bottle rocket, and so I will be coming out with a video soon to go in depth over those things as well as talk about how they've worked out for me so far. So please stay tuned for that, subscribe and like, and happy trails!